of, of course you think about winning that gold medal, but uh, what I really liked is increasing myself and challenging myself and to becoming better and to, uh, and to, and to become faster. I swam around seven hours a day, 70 to 100 kilometers a week. And the, and the fun thing is, because when I tell people this, they always ask me, well, Martin, it, this must have been a horrible year. How, 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 did you, how did you cope with that? And I always tell them that the weird thing is that I really enjoyed. Uh, I feel pain when people say, well, you fought cancer and you won. And I feel that pain because uh, when I think back to that period in the hospital, uh, I was the most lazy patient you can imagine. And there were lots of fellow patients and they were not as lazy as I was. I'm the only patient in that hospital room that's still alive. And then to tell you, hey, I fought cancer and I won, it doesn't feel fair to my fellow patient in that hospital bed. And the only thing that I can do with the luck I had um, recovering from cancer is to do those crazy things with swimming for three days uh, to hopefully increase the luck and increase the chance for, for, for future patients. In my first attempt in 2018, I did not uh, achieve. I had to quit after 53 hours of swimming. Uh, a year later, in 2019, I did manage to swim 200 kilometers. It took me 74 hours. So, so I slept for three hours a day. Uh, and there was a small boat with a tent and I had an energy gel every 20 minutes and I had a full meal every five hours. Uh, and, the, and the biggest difference between winning Olympic gold and doing this 11 city tour is that winning Olympic gold was me showing that I was the, the, the best swimmer. Uh, and this event was uh, helping the, the cancer patients together. Uh, we had like, like three, four, five hundred thousand donations. And doing that all together with all those people shouting with this uh, it was a, a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm.